And my next guest is a global music superstar. Kesha has sold more than 75 million records worldwide, but it's been an incredibly tough road for the singer, facing personal and legal battles. Now, one year on from her extraordinary comeback, Kesha is heading to Australia. Kesha became a household name in 2009, releasing hit after chart-topping hit. The American singer broke records and became an inspiration for millions. But a bitter legal battle with her former producer, Dr. Luke, and sexual assault allegations against him saw Kesha disappear from the spotlight for five years. Then last year, she made a major comeback releasing the anthem Praying and her album Rainbow. It topped the US Billboard chart and Kesha took to the stage with her peers at the Grammy Awards. The world embraced Kesha like never before. But she was no longer just an artist, but an icon. This record has quite literally saved my life. Now, on the eve of her Australian tour, the superstar has released a documentary on Apple Music, sharing her real-life struggles and redemption. You may be able to pull it together and put on a front in front of others, but inside, you're trapped suffocating slowly you don't own me and kesha joins me now from la good morning to you congratulations on the anniversary of your Thank rainbow you. album um, look how's the outpouring of love from your fans over the last year affected you it's been enormous um my fans are my favorite thing in the entire world and hopefully they know that. They follow me on any social media platform or have seen my film I just put out with Apple Music. Hopefully they know that they have impacted my life immensely and I could not have done anything without them. Like, I live for them. Yeah, Kesha, you say the album quite literally saved your life. Tell me about that. I just think that making music for me is not, it's not a job and it's not, it's not something I do for fun. It's something I need to do. It's something I do in my sleep. It's something that kind of overtakes me. Um, I'll be having a conversation with someone and all of a sudden I'll just start writing a song and people will be really confused because I'll just start like humming and singing. And it's a very weird thing. So, but it like comes into my brain and then I have to grab a guitar, sit at a piano and do it. So just it's the art is like, it's what I live and breathe. It's not. It's, I can't imagine doing anything else. It's everything. Aren't you so lucky to do something that you really love? And look, I love your new documentary, as you mentioned earlier. It gives us a great insight into your life and career behind the music and away from the stage. But I, I was thinking when I was watching it, how challenging was it to put yourself out there on the film in, in such a personal way? Um, the documentary, Rainbow, the film, um, on Apple is that was like it was it was trying it was difficult it was not easy it's super emotional it was hard for me to watch it was hard for me to edit it was hard for me to film every step of it I was involved in and it was really difficult but it was also incredibly therapeutic so I kind of think I deal with life through art and that's always been my therapy. My main form of dealing with everything is through making music about it and making art. Yeah, look, my favourite bit of the whole documentary was watching you before that incredible Grammy Awards performance. Tell us what was going through your head at that time. Um, I was so nervous. I'm pretty sure you can gather that from that footage. Is, uh, I was so nervous, like, so anxious. I could barely sleep for two months. 
I would just like cry all the time because I just wanted to do such a good job. I didn't want to let anybody down. I didn't want to let myself down. I didn't want to let my fans down. And I didn't want to let Beyonce down. <laughs> Oh, it, it was an incredible moment, I've got to tell you. Look, we're so excited to have you touring Australia again. You've visited before, of course, performed right here on Sunrise. What does Australia, and in particular, your Aussie fans, mean to you? Oh, my God. I love Australia, and I am... I'm a little upset it has been this long since I've been there, and it's not out of like my want. I have wanted to come back there so many different times, but life happened and, you know, crazy things have happened, but I am so excited to come back because I really feel this like crazy connection to Australia. I love traveling around there. I love the spirit is just so positive and fun and kind of wild, I gotta say. Uh, I feel like kindred spirit. I feel like a very kindred spirit every time I come to Australia. Oh, you're an adopted Aussie. We love you. Now, um, when you come out here and perform such an emotional song like Praying, um, uh, how emotional do you get? Every time I sing that song, I keep waiting for it to get easy. And quite honestly, never one time has it ever been easy for different reasons. Um, but it's always, I catch a glimpse of one person in the audience that is just having an emotional experience and it'll make me really emotional or I'll just think of how lucky I am to be able to be standing on a stage singing a song from my new record that I executive produced and I love. And I just kind of get overwhelmed with emotion because, you know, it's been years in the making and it's such a special record for me and I cannot wait to perform it for you guys. I feel like it's been too long, but hopefully it'll be worth the wait. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. Now, the other thing, I love that you're also a romantic, so much so. Many people may not know this. You've become a wedding celebrant and officiated three weddings up till now. <laughs> what do you love about doing that? Um, I love love. I think it's the most magical thing in the entire world and it's something that can't be reduced to an algorithm or an equation or we are just here today to it's something we can't quite we figure out we all the way. The it's something that's just this visceral emotion and, and wish to spend the rest it's pheromones and it's together. magic. And it is really truly magical you. and I love <laughs> magical things because I feel like especially when you grow up and you become an adult Danny, like the sometimes the magic of the world kind of dulls. I'm a huge supporter of the LGBTQ <laughs> community and Danny, all three marriages have I been same sex you so you other on earth. it was just by coincidence you, but I've recently been asked to do two no more weddings, officiate two more weddings to hold you and, and they just happen to be same sex weddings so you and your <laughs> I'm ready. Well, I'll tell you what, <laughs> we are ready to welcome you back to Australia. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see you guys. I love my animals. Oh, we've got plenty of votes for you. Now, Kesha's Rainbow Tour kicks off on the 7th of October in Melbourne. She's also performing Adelaide, Brisbane and Sydney. All the ticket details are on the Sunrise website. And Kesha's documentary, thoroughly recommend this, Rainbow the Film, is available to watch now on Apple Music. Mm.